It's that time of year, Girl Scout cookie time. You know, I never actually know what time of year that is. It surprises me every time. It sneaks up on me just like the Girl Scouts do outside the grocery store. I leave the store perfectly content, no idea that my life is about to change. I'm pushing my cart full of all my normal grocery items plus like 12 chocolate covered strawberries because Valentine's Day just happened and so all the stores are full of them. Why would I not take advantage of that? Chocolate covered strawberries are like the best thing in the world and I'm not about to make them myself. I let Valentine's Day take care of that for me. I had like eight of them after dinner last night. I'm trying to be healthier and if you forget that they have chocolate on them, Anyway, so I'm pushing my cart, and then I hear a little voice in the distance. Would you like to buy some Girl Scout cookies? Surprises me every single time. So I stop. I think. Should I? I mean, of course I want to. But I also currently have 12 chocolate-covered strawberries in my shopping cart. So then, I make the biggest mistake I could possibly make and I turn and I look at the girl. Look at her, this tiny, cute little sash wearing businesswoman with a mom that's making her count everyone's change all day. Like she's gotta be the salesman and the cashier in this equation and I'm supposed to turn around and walk away because I'm making healthy choices? <laughs> no, I can't even tell her that I don't have cash on me right now because those smartphone card readers exist these days and every mother that has a Suburban and one too many pieces of jewelry owns one. So what's my excuse? I don't have one. And frankly, I don't want one. I mean, again, I'm the kind of person that gets really excited for February because I know that all the stores are gonna have chocolate-covered strawberries in them. Do you really think that I'm gonna say no to a $4 box of the most delicious little pre-packaged cookies in the world? I'm not insane. So I walk over to the table and I start looking at all the boxes of cookies as the mother stands from her lawn chair and the little girl starts describing each cookie to me as if I haven't known about these cookies since long before she was ever born into this world and forced to be a Girl Scout. And then I realize something. They don't have the lemonades. My favorite Girl Scout cookie. They have the Savannah Smiles, which is a great alternative to the lemonades. Why can't you have both of the lemon flavored cookies on the table? Why do you gotta just have one? That one. But now I'm stuck, because what do I do? I can't just walk away and crush this little girl's hopes and dreams, and I don't really want to admit that I don't like the Samoas and I don't understand what all the hype is about. So I just grab a box of Thin Mints, because you can't really go wrong with Thin Mints, especially if you put them in the freezer. And I give the girl my money, and I watch her attempt to do math, and then I have flashbacks to elementary school math class, which was a nightmare. Then I walk away, $4 less in my pocket and a box of Thin Mints in my hand, and I'm happy. I'm excited. And I'm a little bit concerned that maybe I just got taken advantage of by a small child in a sash, but I have cookies. So, we're good. Imagine if Girl Scouts started making and selling chocolate-covered strawberries, though. <laughs> They'd have all my money. True story, it happened. And now I have all the chocolatey goodness and no lemonades, but that's okay. Anyway, go buy yourself some Girl Scout cookies, okay? And I'll see you next Thursday. Until then, follow me on Twitter, follow me on Instagram, follow me on Snapchat. Don't follow me in real life. Subscribe if you haven't subscribed. And I will see you soon. Ew, they get this like weird color when you put them in the freezer. Bye. The hair's gone. I can't decide exactly how I feel about it yet, but it's way easier to wash. I forgot about that benefit of having short hair.